Liberty. Freedom. Equality. They're not just words. It's our foundation. It's who we are. It's in our DNA. The pursuit of happiness. It's what we fight for. What we strive for. It's what we stand for. In the world's greatest experiment of self-governance, we're learning as we go. Our children are the caretakers of democracy. What they're taught shapes the destiny of our nation. Now ask yourself, what's your child learning? The future lies with them. Lafayette Academy, a revolutionary education at a revolutionary time. I think sometimes we underestimate how much school programs our children's minds because they're here for eight hours a day, which is more typically than they're with their parents at home on a school day. I want my children learning how to think, not what to think, and I want them in an environment where adults really believe and entrust the children and are fostering the responsibility and self-governance along with values like freedom and integrity and perseverance so that they can become the adults that I desire them to be. Public education is not very public anymore. It's very secretive. They're supposed to be available, they're supposed to be transparent, and they're not any longer. They're pushing their own agendas, however they feel about different things, as opposed to representing, as a board, the public. There should be transparency as to what policies are in play, and giving the parents an actual say in how things are run. I was in education for 25 years before I retired. I really believed in public education because, in my view, it was the great equalizer. It's a recent phenomenon that parents are being ostracized from school board meetings, from decision-making in their schools, and it's affecting the education of their children. Some of my concerns with public education would be about the group think, children and adults' inability to think critically. I think our culture has really trained us away from freedom of thought without a prescribed and predetermined outcome. I think we all know that our children are the future, and so if we're not training our children how to step into that future and be the leaders that our country needs to protect our constitution and freedom as we know it, what are we doing? There are things being taught to children and they know the parents would not approve, but yet they pursue it to the detriment of the children. It's a travesty and they're paying for this. They are just doing what they want and then punishing people who dig into it. I don't want to participate in a system like that any longer. I want my children to grow up to be leaders and so to do that they can't be in a system that's designed to create followers. Since Corbin started attending Lafayette Academy, it's been a kind of a joy to watch him grow into the space that's provided to him. So he's very much growing, I can tell naturally, into his own identity. Like, this is who I am. I like being who I am. Langley has shifted up three grade levels in her reading. The Emmy's confidence has grown leaps and bounds, and it's so fun to see her enjoying learning so much. Even at 11, almost 12 years old, he's pointing out the differences between public and private and what Lafayette's offering. If you're thinking about sending your children to Lafayette Academy, I encourage you to do it. It's the most important investment you can make. The values that the school holds, they don't just promote the values, they live them and they instill them in the children so that it's normal for them to be talking about freedom and perseverance and temperance and making good choices at the right time. The staff here are very transparent, so that helps build that confidence. There's room everywhere for a parent to be involved. You're literally invited into every nook and cranny, and there's somewhere for you to step up. It's important right now for anybody who is able to support this endeavor because it's critical for our society. We really need people to assist with this movement because it actually is so much bigger than just this being a school. 